prices are up, prices are down, sale volume is up, sales volume is down. What? We have different markets happening at the same time right here in Washtenaw Parish. And today, this is your Washtenaw Parish real estate update. I'm so glad to have you with me. I'm Olivia Roberts with the Harrison Lilly real estate team. Now, we actually focus in Washtenaw Parish, Morehouse, Colwell Union, and Lincoln Parish. Today, I'm focusing specifically on Washita Parish, and I'm going to be doing my best to break down everything that is going on in the world of real estate. Now, if you've learned anything new today, please click that like button. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated if you do. We are shooting to hit 1,000 subscribers by the third quarter. We know that's a big, a big number, and yet that's what we're about. So, um, now, if you are watching this video, it's probably because you're interested in the market, what's happening, right? Uh, now a good time to sell, now to a good time to buy. If you want to talk to an expert about your specific situation, you can go to the first link in the description and book a call. So again, today's video is focused on Washtenaw Parish and it's on residential homes. Now, if you're interested in a market report, for any of the surrounding parishes, we'd be happy to do a market report for the other parishes as well. Um, if you would like these numbers specifically broke down for your area, West Monroe, Monroe, please add that to the comments. If we have enough interest, I'd be happy to break those numbers down and do a video uh, for a smaller uh, subset of the houses. So today we'll talk inventory. We're talking price, days on market, the works. Right now, we are in a market that's a little bit difficult to give general advice and because it can be very misleading. Like if you just read a headline or, you know, uh, just hear this one piece, you might actually end up making up your mind about something that's not accurate for your specific home. So remember that what I'm sharing today is we're looking at the market as a whole. It might not be exactly for what for your house. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at home prices over the last few years, All right? So we're starting from January of 2021, and we can see home prices through 22 all the way through April of 2024. So there's a couple of things. If you look at the prices, so uh, January of 2021 uh, in Washtenaw Parish residential homes, 224,773, that was the average sales price that month. If we jump all the way to, um, to May of 2021, the average price point was 230,947. Now, if we look at January of 2022, the home prices were at 193,694. Now, the good news is if you look at it, our market has continued to go up. Now here, if you look at the beginning of 2023, it may be a little sluggish and yet it kept recovering, right? Um, so in uh, December, 2022, average home price was 241,785. March, 238,191. June, 244,516. Okay, so it just kind of gives you an idea of what's happening in the market now. So when we look at uh, January of 2024, 232,224, that was the average price. February, 203,000. Now that is the lowest, uh, but if you notice February of 2023 was also 208. Right, so there's not a big enough difference in that to really be very concerned about that just, Looks like February, right? And then um, April, now if we go back, so March, it's coming back up at 259,475. And then in um, April, 250,649. So the cool part is if you'll notice, so if you bought your house, you know, 2021, 2022, home prices are gonna, like you've created some equity. Right. So now even and, and if you bought your house at the height of the market, maybe in June of 2022, 
you know, you, you probably gain some equity. Um, you may at least be able to, you know, possibly uh, sell break even, maybe even a little equity. Just uh, but again, this is just kind of the overview of the market. So even though we haven't seen a huge rate cut, homes are still selling and for the most part, not taking a large price hit. Now, later, we're going to actually talk about uh, days on market and how long it's taking to sell and what that means for you. And so stay tuned for that. So hopefully what I've shared so far, hopefully it's it's a at least a little bit encouraging to you if you own real estate or or um, maybe you're on the sidelines and you've been waiting and asking like what gives, you know, is the price is going to drop, that type of thing. So now let's take a look at year over year numbers for April 2023 to April of 2024. So when we take a look year over year numbers for April 2023 to 2024, these are some uh, just summaries for you to just be able to compare. So uh, April of 2024, we had 113 closed sales. Now, keep in mind, this is residential homes in Washtenaw Parish, okay? Um, last year, we had 120. So there was a, a price change. It went down almost 6%. Now, new listings, 154 new listings came on the market, uh, residential homes and uh, in April, and 172 last year in April. Uh, so we actually, um, active listings, so currently, again, residential homes in Washtenaw Parish, active listings in April was 320. Last year, there was 451. So uh, there's about a 61% change. Days on market last year was 93. April of this year, 104. So there was an increase on days on market. And the average sales price, like a 2% difference. So not a big uh, difference. I'm actually, I'll show you for each month, January through April, and you will see that they fluctuated. We're actually at an increase. Uh, if you look January through April, we're at a, a an increase of uh, of house prices. Now we look at the pending sales. So these are the things that went under contract in that particular month. So in 2023, we had 110 residential homes in Washtenaw Parish, um, and this year there was 42 uh, that went under contract in. April. So you do see that there was a, um, you know, a 61% change. And then now these are the, the key pieces, the month supply. In 2023, we had a 2.6 month supply. And we've actually increased that if you look at the whole market, we've actually increased that to a five month supply. Um, I'll go into more depth about what that means and how that impacts sales. Um, and yet that is creeping. I will say this for now before I get too deep into it. That just basically means um, anything below five months inventory, we typically call that a, um, a seller's market. If we are, you know, five to seven months, that's going to be like a, a balanced market. Sometimes you'll hear it called a neutral market. And then seven months or longer, that's going to be a buyer's market. So let's get into key data points. So the sales units were down 5.8% year over year. Not that big of a, a change. Uh, we're seeing a lot larger in, in other areas. The Now the prices, March of 2024 to April 2024, month over month, they have gone down about 3.4%. And prices are down about 2.2% year over year. So not a huge adjustment. Prices are up. So we look at the months, they're down. Prices are up 1.9% year to date. So if we look from January to April. And the sales volume is down year over year, almost 15% down. So that's letting you know that less houses are selling. Now, our sales volume is down 13% year over year. The new listings being up 61%, pretty big deal. Um, and the month over month average sales price is down. Again, though, if you look at January to April, prices are up that about 2%. 
So now let's get into the key data points. Now, don't be fooled. Remember, at the beginning of this video, I shared that we are in a difficult market to interpret on the whole because it can be misleading when we look at the different pockets of the market. So we're going to actually break down what's happening in some of the different pockets of the market that does have low inventory and tons of buyers, um, and they're still getting multiple offers. So in January of this year, the average price, $229,275. Median price, $223,500. There was 52 residential home sales in Washtenaw Parish. February, um, $210,190. Average, median price, $205,000. 66 home sales. March, we saw a, a a 29% increase in the average price, which was, it went up to 272,259 and there were 82 home sales. April, we went back a little bit with the average price being 252,728 and there were 108 homes sold. So that's a, so if you look January through April, we still had an increase in price of almost 11%. Now, this almost 11% increase, that's going to continue to level out. You'll see it kind of bounces back and forth throughout the year. Um, don't necessarily see that it's going to go down. It's probably going to stay steady, maybe a little bit more. We'll talk about that a little bit more in predictions at the end. So when we look at residential homes and inventory, this really gives us an insight about what's happening by price point. Below 134000 there's three months worth of inventory, which that has increased over last year. Between 135,000 and 194,000, we are still at two months. Um, basically, that's still very, both of those are still a very strong seller's market. Um, 195,000 to 274, three months, still very strong seller's market. Now, 275000 and above, 5.2 months. So we are creeping toward the, um, the balanced market. So a bunch of numbers. What does it actually mean? What it means is that if nothing else came on the market at the current rate, it would take that many months to sell the current inventory. It's also letting us know that the days on market and each price point has increased, even though we're still in that seller's market. So right now, houses priced between, you will all the way up to like that 275,000. They're in good shape. You know, obviously the condition and desirable area and the marketing, all that plays into a, a part of this. And yet they're potentially still getting multiple offers. Like we, you know, we're always, look, we are actually have people that want to buy in those price points and they can't find anything. So uh, still a seller's market. Um, now, that under two months of supply, that means if this remains the same, prices will continue to go up because that basically what's happening is homes are continuing to be absorbed that quickly and there is a demand for a type of asset, you're going to see price growth continue to happen. Again, it's not going to be at some completely insane rapid growth um, and yet we'll continue to see growth. So at the end of April, or the thing for you guys to just be aware of, what's the most important thing for you to know as a buyer seller if we just pull all of this down? Buyers. If things continue, um, buying now will still be an opportunity because the equity is continuing to increase. Sellers, if you're over that $275,000 price point, you are tipping from that, that seller's market to a more uh, balanced market. If it hits seven months, we typically consider that a buyer's market. So it might make sense for you to move if that is like, if that's something that you're gearing up to do, right? Because if supply continues to increase, you may end up in that buyer's market. But ultimately, the predictions, if nothing changes and inventory holds, you're going to see prices continue to increase, not massive increases, supply is just still low and demand is still up. If you bought within the last couple of years, you're still breaking even or possibly even gaining equity. If you've been in your house uh, for heck five years or more, you've gained a lot of equity in that time. 
So again, there's lots of variables to keep in mind. If you are looking for a, like, 